Come on, give us a second, give us a bunch, dang it. <laughs> Everybody. Uh, I am currently in Western Nebraska right now. I'm stepping here, staying at a Quality Inn in Ogallala. I got here late last night. I am running on fumes right now, but it's going to be a jam-packed day full of Western Nebraskan sights. See what kind of uh, interesting, cool things are out here to see. And we're taking you along with me. First stop, however, is going to be apparently this free hot breakfast uh, at this hotel. So by the quality of the place, I'm a little concerned about how it might be, but you know, beggars can't be cheesers, and I am starving. So, here we go. Get the mask up. Pretty standard hotel meal there. You know, biscuits and gravy and eggs, and it's good, it's fine, but you know, good to go. Now I'm gonna get back on the road here and I'm going to head up to in the Chimney Rock today. I had a pretty tough time finding a hotel last night uh, because, it, well, it's a holiday weekend and also Lake McConaughey is a little bit north of here, which is a big resort, not resort, but like a big lake area that people like to come to and, and uh, take their boats out on and stuff. And so, I'm a little nervous about tonight because I'm going to be in a much more touristy area. Um, the scary thing about all this is this is during the pandemic, and I I don't know what I expected, but there's a ton of people out. I'm going to do my best to like dodge everybody I possibly can, mask up as much as I possibly can, but luckily I'm doing mostly outdoor stuff like trails and things like that, so we'll see as we go. First stop, I'm going to head up the highway and go check out Chimney Rock. So I'm not able to film anything while I'm uh, driving, obviously. I can do a little bit of B-roll when I hang a camera up on a suction cup, which is the GoPro. But um, it's a real shame because there's so much awesome scenery to see while driving through the highways in Nebraska. Now, I've heard that Interstate 80 going west in Nebraska is one of the most boring stretches of uh, road in the entire country. I've heard like truck drivers say that and stuff. But when you get off the interstate, there really is quite a lot to see out here. Um, I went, I got off the interstate at Ogallala, I started going north, it's Highway 92 or 26 west, uh, whatever number it is, um, heading up towards Chimney Rock. And you're, we're going through all kinds of foothills and things. And I mean, I had to get off and check this thing out right here behind me. And there's a little bit of a, a thing, and I'm not gonna stop a bunch and read, but there's a bunch of cool little things to read along the way. I just, you think cornfields, you think flat, but then you get out here and it just blows your mind. All right, back in the car, got about another 45 minutes or so to go until I'm at Chimney Rock. Chimney Rock. Uh, a lot of you have probably seen this as a uh, as a spot to stop in the Oregon Trail video game, the one that got us all through third grade. It's so weird though, like me playing that in third grade in like a little school in Pennsylvania, and now here I am, you know, twenty some, twenty eight, thirty years later, uh, looking at Chimney Rock back behind me. Uh, it is just an old um, rock formation. Uh, I could tell you what the rock's all made of, but I didn't go inside. The, there's a little museum here. It's eight bucks to go in. Uh, I just don't know if I have the time today for that. So I kind of like walking around outside here instead. There's a cool gift shop. We got a couple little gifts for the kiddos. Uh, but otherwise, kind of yeah, it's kind of neat back here. Kind of cool to see. 
There is a little cemetery that gets you a little bit closer, so I'm gonna go see that. Then. Let's go see what we can see over at the cemetery. I mean, let's be honest, it is super cool. Let's be cold. All right, so Jimmy Rock here. Directly in front of me, the opposite side, there's this little cemetery over here. I'm gonna go check that out right there. I also wanna note, there is a little path right here that goes down, and I thought that was like an established path. Looking at it, I'm seeing it's not really. And the guy that was in the museum gift shop kind of said that they discourage people from going on this for like erosion purposes and stuff. So I'm gonna be a team player and not, not go on that path right now. It's only about a half mile, I think, that goes out, but it gets you really close. A family just went. I see him out there, the little specks. But, yeah, I'm gonna move on to the next thing after seeing the cemetery. Let's go check it out. To get out to this, you have to walk through all this tall grass here. And I'm spooked about rattlesnakes now, so I'm going nice and slow. Stopping my feet kinda hard. So I'm currently standing in the uh, Chimney Rock Pioneer Cemetery. Uh, Chimney Rock was a big landmark on the Oregon Trail, the California Trail, the Mormon Trail, and most any trail headed west. This was a big landmark you could see from miles and miles away. In fact, I saw it about 10 miles out from coming in. Consequently, as you probably know from history books, lots and lots of pioneers and settlers died on the way out, and it seems that there's a lot of folks here in the cemetery that are from that time period. There's also some, I just saw one from February of this year, so uh, it is still very much in use. Um, but it's interesting to see this cemetery in the middle of all of this beautiful landscape. Worth a stop. All right, so that's pretty much Chimney Rock back there. Uh, if you are a native Nebraskan or from here at all, you've no doubt seen or at least know what this is, because uh, it's on our state quarter. If I had a quarter, I wish I could hold it up right now and show you. Now, how far would I drive to get here? I would say probably about two or three hours to drive out to see this. However, the caveat there is most people don't just see this and go home. Most people see this and do, do what I'm gonna do, go on to Scott's Bluff here. Uh, so in that case, I would drive like four or five hours to come out and do the whole kind of circuit of geological features in western Nebraska. So I'm gonna say five hours to drive out here to see Chimney Rock. So time to hop back in the car and get over to Scott's Bluff. Welcome to Scott's Bluff, Scott's Bluff National Monument here. Uh, I'm gonna attempt the hike. Um, it is about noon local time. I need to be done with this and out of here by like two o'clock. So it's about, I think about a mile and a half, 1.6 miles if I remember right. Something like that going up the trail. 1.6 miles up and then 1.6 miles back down. Uh, I could drive it and be up there in about 10 minutes, but I'm gonna attempt the hike. Um, I bought all my stuff here to, to hike with, so I might as well go along. One thing I'm worried about, Rattlesnakes. There are rattlesnakes all over the uh, in this area on the trail, so you just got to be real careful when you're walking. For that reason, not that I need them really to walk with, but I brought these uh, a couple of trekking poles really quick. I brought my trekking poles, so when they're full, I can maybe you know help deflect if it if I start to get bitten at by a snake. I don't know. I've read that somewhere. So, um, but we will get started right now because I'm in a rush to get through, to get up and back and then I will uh, talk to you on the way as we go. Um, this doesn't even look like Nebraska. It's so crazy. It's so like rocky and mountainous. That's when you think Nebraska, you don't think this. So, right, let's get going. Okay, back up behind me, you see between these two massive bluffs right here, Scott's Bluff being over to this side. This is Mitchell Pass. Uh, Mitchell Pass was open in like 1850-something or other. The other route that wagon trains had to take was Robodeau Pass, which was several miles south of here. So it cut down on quite a bit of the uh, of the, of the route for the, for the Pioneer, so this became kind of a, a hot spot to go to. And Scott's Bluff here became a pretty big landmark, just like Chimney Rock was as well. So now I'm going to go attempt to hike up it and get on the... Um, Saddle Rock Trail, Saddle Rock Trail something, I'll find out in just a moment. Oh, and again, as always, 
Watch out for rattlesnakes. So this trail is only 1.6 miles and has an elevation of 435 feet. This is all one way, obviously. So I don't really know what to expect at that. We're gonna find out. Doesn't seem that far, but again, I'm like, it's also really weird to like to walk and talk like this because I gotta really focus on not stepping on a rattlesnake. They've got me so spooked about rattlesnakes, guys. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> it is absolutely fabulous scenery though, like back behind me there. Staring up this right there. Pretty cool. All right. Of course, if I see a rattlesnake, I'm gonna book it back down and go back to the car. <laughs> if you can see it there is a tunnel way up there it comes down around the inside of this little pass here and then this part of the trail there whoo <laughs> it's not that bad I just went up like a really steep little like you know 10 yard section there so I'm starting to feel that heat yo oh my gosh check it out see that tunnel still up there Somewhere up that way. Well, something to take my mind off the hike for a sec. Guess I'll tell you about Scott's Bluff, what I know about it anyway. This is another pioneer Oregon Trail, Mormon Trail, California Trail landmark. Named in the mid 1800s because a guy, a fur trader, a clerk for a fur trading company named Hiram Scott, on a return mission, return uh, trip back to, I think, Missouri, ended up becoming incapacitated, either getting injured or something or whatever. And the guys he was with tried to carry him as far as they could. And they eventually had to abandon him apparently. So it says the story, it's all kind of murky. So they had to apparently abandon him. And story is, he made it this far and died somewhere around the base of this bluff. And now it's called Scott's Bluff. Good thing he didn't have to climb it. Okay, so again, I bring it up because somewhere down in the valley below me is Hiram Spring, and that is uh, where supposedly his remains were found. They found remains there a long time ago. Can't say it was his for sure, but that's how the legend goes anyway. So, welcome to Scott's Bluff. Okay, I'm kind of seeing. Whoo! <laughs> the altitude's not bad, it's just the incline. So. I'm seeing the trail, I'm seeing where it goes directly on up. Okay, we're not too far now. Let's get to that tunnel. Okay, as I'm looking down at the ground and the edges of the trail, I'm suddenly startled by just how many little sticks and twigs look like snake bodies. <laughs> Almost to the tunnel. I'm over halfway, I think the tunnel's two thirds. I could be wrong on there. Hopefully, I'm gonna pretend it's two thirds. Cause man, I'm just <laughs> winded. Sitting here, ooh, that's a cool hawk. Taking a break for just a moment. Get some water, get some trail mix as well. I think this is the town of Scott's Bluff over here. Gearing was back on the other side of the bluff. I was hoping you can see the sheer wall behind me here. All right, time to go. And we're up at the saddle. This is the saddle of Scott's Bluff. Saddle Rock, I suppose. The namesake of the trail. There's little signs there saying not to go any farther past that, but oh my gosh, no need to. 
the view here is just absolutely stellar. You probably can't make it out, but I can faintly see Chimney Rock back there on the horizon. It's a little cloudy, a little, a little dusty today, but about 20 miles out. However, we're not quite up yet. I don't like exposure. I don't, I don't like being that close to just falling. I don't, that's like five feet too close to the edge. <laughs> Uh, almost to the top, almost to the top. I stepped on a snake, nope, it was a rock. I don't love this. I don't, I don't love this. Yeah, I don't love this, here we go. And done. Woo. All right. Now to go find a shady spot and sit down. Good luck. There's not a whole lot of shady spots up here. Woo. And then I've got to get back down. I'm running out of time and out of breath. Oh, no snakes. So up on top of Scott's Bluff, there's all kinds of short trails around the edge and the perimeter. I have to get back down. Uh, it's about 1.15, I gotta be back to my car by two. That was my goal to get out of here so I can make it in time to the next the next piece. And on and on and on. So, uh, I'm gonna maybe do a quick little run around. I don't know, we'll see what I have time for. But otherwise, I'm just gotta run back down. I made it to the top. Exhausting, but it was fun. All right. Welcome to Scott's Bluff. Of course, with the pandemic and the shutdown, there's also no shuttle. So here we go, walking back down. <laughs> and I gotta hurry. 1.6 miles, I got about 30 minutes to get back to my car. My car is, oh, you can't even see it from here. It's just around that bluff right there. <laughs> see the other side. There we go. Ooh, uh... So, I don't know if it was a, it was like a bug that like buzzed real fast right by my head, or if it was a rattlesnake. I didn't stop to look. Holy cow. I'm gonna take a break for one second. Good Lord. See some dirt falling down right here. Oh. That is a snake. There is a rattlesnake back in that hole. Oh, I saw it head. I don't know if it got caught on camera. Ho, 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 ho. I am gonna get moving now. Rattlesnake for sure. Coloration, diamond head, everything. I'm out. Ooh. Okay, I am exhausted. My day's only half over, too. But a couple hours drive, I should be able to get a little bit of rest. Scott's Bluff is very cool, um, especially for the nature trails, history, that kind of stuff. I would easily drive five hours for this. If you're driving by on the interstate, definitely pop north. It's worth a couple hours out of the way. I know I mentioned back at Chimney Rock, five hours at Chimney, to drive to Chimney Rock and do this. This is five hours by itself, but I would definitely say you can stop at Chimney Rock, too. See it on the way since it's just 20 miles back on the highway. So I'm gonna hop in the car and get going and chug a whole bunch of water. <laughs> Alright, that was fine. Here we go. 